Uh, it's a little bit privilege to be invited here. It's really, really nice to be here. Uh, I feel very lucky to be here too. Actually, two months ago, I was almost dead. <laughs> I was suffering from brain <laughs> illness. So actually, two months ago, I could not talk. I could not read. I could not walk. Then I, I was in the hospital for five weeks. And then, the day before yesterday, my doctor gave me a call. You can come here. Ooh, that's right. <laughs> so, I'm usually doing uh, agile coaching, Kaizen thing, whatever things. Then, but I always believe that my skill is not good enough. Yeah, I need to learn more. I need to practice more. But uh, finding myself, oops, I may die anytime. <laughs> I think it's a good idea because it's not sufficient, efficient enough sharing the idea to other people so that other people can be much better than me. <laughs> That'd be fun. So we have 45 minutes today. So I still have a uh, content. So I may, I tend to speed up faster <laughs> to try to finish everything. If you find me that way, give me this sign. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> and then this is the idea of Kaizen too. You have to slow down a lot to find how you can be faster. So always try to sign the sponsors, especially the one since John is a John is too shy to express his own company <laughs> with essential to be here <laughs> to make this happen. So thank you very much too. <laughs> so let's try to make the cut words very interesting, valuable. So this morning we wake up for it. We you wake up early this early every day? You must be sometimes sleepy. So uh, my topic today, this morning, is about history. <laughs> Make you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we will talk about Agile, TPS, Lean, but it's about the way of working together. Uh, the people out there, and can you hear me yes. with that microphone? So if you can have problem, let me know. So let's talk about the history, how we work together. So it's a brief history, a little bit way back, about a million years ago. <laughs> so a million years ago, we are all hunters. We hunt animals, we hunt fruits, we hunt clubs, whatever, to live our living. So usually the family member get together and we are trying to keep safe. Yeah, it, it lasts a long time. But this way of living a little bit hard <laughs> since we, we need a savings. So about uh, 10,000 years? It depends. It's a location here too. Cambodia and it's very old culture too. We switched to farming. We decided to grow <coughs> our crops every year so that we can keep some food store so we can grow our community bigger. We have to keep people bigger. But what happened here? So at this time, we do everything. Everybody tried to catch it, everybody cook it, everybody bring it, everybody build houses together. But uh, to keep a lot of good crop for a long time, yes, yeah, stay away from the rain, stay away from the animal, we need a very good stockyard. So we need a special skilled people. So then, after start farming, we started specialization. Special farmer, special carpenter, special yeah, forecasting about the land, whatever. 
we give port. And it works very good. So you have a very nice, nice build, building here. It is the, as a result of the sharing thing. So this is continued for a long, long time. So what happened? Do you know what it is? It's a list of, of people by occupation in Wikipedia. There's a lot, a lot of specialized professions, whatever. So I don't want to count that. So I, I asked to uh, check with the uh, Ministry of Labor in Japan. And then you say that it's a, it have 28,275 occupations registered. Ooh, you have a two, almost 30,000 professionals already. So this is very, very special system. Let me see what can this do. <laughs> Some of the profession will look like this. <laughs> Very specialized. <laughs> So back then, we get the good very close time about early, early 20th century, 1900s. Okay, specialization works good. So let's go further. So we decided to further specialization by thinkers and doers. Do you know how they call? <laughs> there, managers and workers. In the manufacturing, uh, only in the United States, in a Ford factory. So that is backed up with this guy, Frederick K. Taylor. So people sometimes think this guy is bad because they, if they treat the human with unhuman way, just treat them as the machines. <clears throat> But the situation is very different. In 1900, the engineers, workers, uh, paid very low. Since they need to have a bunch of skills to, to be able to create something, you have to work in a master craftsman for a long time until they get enough salary. So since uh, they're the speak ill of bad other things, other people, simply because their factory, and report created, paid five times wages compared to workers in the these equipment. <laughs> so since all the engineers go to the factory, since the factory, you can start working with knowing a single skill. So all the line out people will get work together to create a car. So once you have a skill good enough in a single one, you start working factory. And then you start get another skill uh, to be a master engineer. That's how then it worked. So what happens if you are a manager? This specialization works very good. Why don't we create a manager for managers? Yeah, thinkers, thinker, thinkers, worker, and the worker, worker. We create a layer of people. It's a some company, well known, everybody probably knows this. It's an organization chart in 1917, 1980 years ago. The name is the Tabulating Machine Company. Anybody know the current name of this company? Yeah. Yes. 
international business machines. Actually, the company is always make the main product as a company. At the time, at the time, uh, they are making a nation census tabulating machine. So their company name is tabulating machine company. So there is a huge hierarchy here. Already, 98 years ago. And it actually worked great. So it is number of calls in thousand in from 1910 to 1930, just 20 years in the United States. 4.5 million cars in 1930, whereas 2010, on, only about 0.2 million something. It's a huge improvement of productivity. They can make a lot of, lot of, lot of cars. So, this one, this trend continues. <laughs> I think I read the year. I think it's 2020 something. It's an organization chart of federal government of the US. It's so complicated. So, everybody, <laughs> there are a lot of these here. So, since uh, these specialized improvement of productivity was very good. A study started in 1918, I think. It is called Hawthorne Experiment. You can Google it uh, with a very detailed sample about it. It is a Western Electric Company, uh, which is now called General Electric. So they use eight years to do a lot of experiment, how the productivity of assembly line is affected. So they, they ask the workers, assemblers, and then they change the, all the environment. Make it hotter, make it cooler, make it noisier, make it silent, only by older people or younger people, manager walking along or no manager at all. So they did continue a lot of lot of experiment for eight years and found nothing. <laughs> so they, they, they put out the same workers to put in a special experiment assembly line, uh, make it lighter, and then they get the condition to the original. So if you get the lighter condition, the other condition productivity goes up. And then after getting back to the original condition, productivity is still high. I don't know. So they used a lot of money researching eight years. So they could not release the result. We found nothing. So they come up with the idea called informal organization. So usually they have a hierarchical organization structure, but they have a connection of workers that not the related to official organization. They talk to each other. So they, they agree together what is the best productivity so that they can stay safe. So they control how they do it with themselves. <coughs> not by the manager's order. That was the paper they published. Yes, of course, they're very, very criticized. So this is, I say, one, one of the organizer, runners of that organization called the FJ Resource Parker as organizational sabotage. This is a CIS manual, how to make the sabotage happen. This is what's going on in manufacturing. So, 
Yeah. For the talking about the real history, we have to talk about World War. But it's not the topic right now. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> For that, but yeah, need to talk a lot. About 1970s, we have a new profession called programming. So a web designer is you're not called a programmer. Anyway, the programmer something, create something with a computer. So when it happened, how programmer design working? How, how did we design the process of programmers? So we copied the process of manufacturing designing. It's a management of development blur software system. So we get requirement, we get design, we get implementation, then we verify it, test it, and then we go to maintenance mode. How many of you are web designers? Is your process going like this? So your clients start talking about something about around verification. You end up starting again. Is that true? So at that time we tried to make software development as a manufacturing fully automated. That's why we sometimes call the word called software factory. We like to manufacture source code. Manufacture. So many of you already know the result. We actually tried it. We failed that. Really. It's a chaos report in 1994, 20 years ago. We, we, can, we can have a very recent report, but it is still similar. Only 50% are successful, more than half has some problems. 30% will be canceled, but not finish the product. And that happens. So everybody sees uh, this, this one is yeah, usually referred as waterfall method. But uh, this is a paper. <coughs> uh, everybody says Winston Lois is there, but the waterfall. No. This is this paper is usually called waterfall paper, but the, he never used the word waterfall. And then, so this is a diagram for the waterfall method, the sequential plant based method. And this is the caption. I believe in this concept, but the implementation described above is risky and invites failure. This is written in 1970, 44 years ago. So then, around 1980, where Japan has another conflict called Hard Wars. So we did a lot of conflict with other big three companies. And then this is what U.S. found in the Japan car manufacturing industry. So actually, the research was done in MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, but uh, they came in to find the Japanese car manufacturing and cheating. They find a group. Instead of sending the government research group, they send their university research group. And then, Actually, they could not find their cheating evidence, even so they find there are some <laughs> conditions. <laughs> and then they published this. The interesting is they first find the problem was about the machine. And then it was called TPS. TPS was named that by that book, but uh, TPS is they hated it, have a company name on it. <laughs> so they changed the name about the way to describe the name. 
they find their lean manufacturing. Four is buy for the end user. If there's not no buy for the end user, eliminate it. That the uh, lean manufacturing concept. And then, so we sh I share the slide. Don't have to take a picture. Take a picture of me. <laughs> So the concept of waste. This is what they find about TPS. Bad. It's not true. So I'll rewind the history a little, little bit to see how TPS was born. So TPS is here. Okay, here is a just in time. So we create this uh, item that the consumer, customer want to buy it, and the amount of customer buy, and when customer want to buy, and also our automation, jidoka, and yeah, I, I describe it. Later. And then there's the calculated framework. But the target is customer first, but the basement is. Mutual trust between employee and management, and employee satisfaction. Without them, we cannot do that. So, <clears throat> the German, okay, it's all about people here. That is the necessary foundational part. And then, financing or other tool just to leave. We can, we can change. So this is in Japanese. This was actually used in uh, about 30 years ago. <clears throat> it's a different one. So these are people's names working in the manufacturing line. And then these are the skills, full on the skills or necessary working in the line. And then actually black one, they can do that by themselves. White one, they cannot do that. And half black one, they can do it with some help. And then there's a date here. It's a kind of commitment. By that date, I will be able to do this. And then this is a current result and the future result of three months or six months. So this is one of the core in TPS, to try to train people all the time. And then, what you should do, you, you do this. You teach each other. There's no, yeah, of course there's the coaches there, but the coaches are not teachers. They, they teach each other to get that coaches help. So that all the people are getting better. What happened to you? You master everything. You are relocated to another line. <laughs> And then by the time your your practice more, you'll be a manager of the line, manager of different name, coaches of the line, help these people grow better. And then eventually <coughs> you're, you're the factory manager. So that was back 1924. Why they came up with TPS? And then I find myself I'm running out of time. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a loom machine developed in 1924. This is very special. What's different from other room? By the time anybody from England, Germany, yeah, they are very good loom manufacturers. But uh, this one obsolated all the rooms. What's the difference? So it's an automatic thing. It is a shuttle. If the thread is running out, the new shuttle get in. And if the vertical thread is broken, it automatically stops. 
And then there's a signal uh, like calling the worker. Okay, thread is broken, come and fix it. All the loom are usually keep moving. The operational rate is very high. But if the thread is broken, start breaking a bad product. And then other loom before this one, our workers have to stay in front of the loom to see if any of the thread is broken, otherwise stop it. This one, if the thread, something happens, it stops and signals. So a single worker can take care of 15 to 20 of them. All the, all the loom need one worker for each loom. So stop it if you know you are not producing good product. That's the start of automation. Only create, create good product. And you find it, stop it. So how many programmers here? Don't worry, raise your hand. I, I, I don't spike so many times. <laughs> Do you have experience to you keep writing calls the, if knowing that existing calls have some bugs? You are less intelligent than this method. <laughs> 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 Sorry. So after this, so Toyota sold the patent to of this loan to uh, uh, I think in an English company. So they get uh, some a lot of money. So they started creating Toyota Motor Company. So this is the origin of the idea. And of, still, the Toyota Toyota Lumine Co Company is the biggest owner of Toyota Motor Company right now. Then what happens? Okay, we skip the war era. But uh, after the war, Toyota was almost almost bankrupt. So there's a huge, huge labor dispute. Actually, it's after the World War II, Toyota tried to implement Ford system. Actually, this Ford company, GM, Chrysler, are generous enough to let the old executive of the Japanese car companies to build their factory. They teach us how to run the Ford system. But we couldn't uh, simply because we are we don't have money. So then, actually, uh, 1950, there's a huge labor dispute, and then all the management resigned, including the founder. So by the time Toyota actually promised with the employees, this would be the last layoff. So that's why they don't lay off people. <laughs> the lifetime improvement because of this. And also, apparently, Toyota hates banks. So they have their own by itself. Since uh, this, this big, uh, after two years of dispute, so management should try to get on the back to the management. But, uh, just before he is getting back, he was getting back to the company. He died. He passed away. Got the stress. So still. So yeah, there's an economic group meeting in in Japan. The larger companies. Toyota never sit beside banks. Still gay. <laughs> then after that, so he they couldn't run around the whole system, so they come to the TPS. But how, how come? They know the automation, <coughs> but uh, they didn't know how to operate everything. So, another origin. Do you know that? It's a TWI program in the US. Since World War II, okay, we talk about war anyway. <laughs> So they recruited all the younger engineers, working engineers in the factory to be, to be a military. So they are running out of workers in the factory. So they needed the housewives to be a factory worker, very effectively and safely. 
this is how to react liquid atoms from. So they create a program called TWI, Training Within Industry. Since at that time, a housewife was not well trained by the university or high school about engineering, so they have to be trained in the factory. So but this is the overview of TWI, but uh, they really like it, top of it, to make your work easier and safer. This is a very important part. So they have three pillars. One is job instructor know-how, how to teach, how to do your work. And then job methods, how to improve your work. And the third one, job relations, know about the relationship of the, your work. What is the people who are using your products? So how it is related to it. And their program. Is there a separate? Who are there? So, do you know, remember the name of FJ Resrixberger, who is running the Bolton method about the productivity? He was involved in creating this program. Yeah, making your work easy and safe for the key. So, that's where uh, Kaizen is came from. Continuous improvement is to make your work easier and safer. So, you know this. So I'm <coughs> keeping a little faster. So, so Toolbed is improving very much after that. And then let's get back to the software. So this didn't work. So, Bam! This is a picture of Ikushiro Monaka, a knowledge creating company, innovation. So if they look into the Japanese company who are good at product development. One is Taipei, okay, then okay. Uh, looking for the marketing stuff, outside designing. All the processes are separated people, designed by specialized people, and um, then connected via document. So they find it, the designing process takes a long, long time. So, so some of the companies are putting uh, people together. Some of people stay in the first process and second <coughs> process only. Instead of having all documents carry all the information, they will leave, leave people. So some people working both process and then carrying the information. They find it, it works much faster. So if this works, why don't we put some people from initial? Uh, they call this this sashimi. Sashimi is like that. So people's overall makes the designing process better. So last three, why don't we put everybody from the initial and keep them working until the end? So they call it Scrum. Scrum is one of the worst other methods. So everybody can work together and try to push the ball forward. So if I start talking about Scrum, I can use it one day or two days. So I'll skip it. The core is, although the background, what is more important? So okay, let's do, do the important started faster. Uh, fix time. How long is it about? We, we keep the same time. So we keep cadence. So that we are getting faster or low, uh, lower. We are getting doing good, we are doing bad. We get feedback every fixed time length. And the third one is demo or die. <laughs> Show me working software. But uh, it is not well trying it on swarming. I don't know which, which your specializations are. Get everybody work together to fix the problem. 
for me. So they don't restart the creating beehive creating process. So they are inspecting and adapting, working together. That's a much smaller one. Okay. So now right in 2002, we got Agile Manifesto. Do you know Agile Manifesto thing? You'll be all right. So if you don't know, please come to me right here. <laughs> I'll give it back. But the Agile Manifesto says all about people working together. So that we see the same product, we can, we can work with customers. We can actually see the product to see together and respond to things. Let's work together. Oops, I will miss the dead drawing on five minutes. <laughs> Sorry for the volunteers. <laughs> so, Conway's law is there. Conway's law is the structure of the organization and the structure of the product is the same. Okay. Here's an example. One is the organization chart. One is class diagram. One is organization structure diagram. One is a software structure diagram, which is which? They're very similar. So then, Claudine, how software is really developed? Do we have the real organizational hierarchical structure created software? This is a book by Eric Raymond about 10, 15 years ago. It's about open source software. A group of people over the company can create the great software. That is the topic. And it is a recent design principle of the current software, inverse of control. Don't call us, we call you. We create a framework. So we clearly have the inverse of software structure about 20 years ago since. Do we actually see it in our organization here? We are seeing the structure build flattens and also some, some individual connect to the other companies or other front. We are losing Still, we have a strong organization term, but the organization tax button. Informal organization, described about almost 90 years, is much easier to visit. Do you know the name? We have name. Software has the name of this. That is called community. Thank you, volunteers. Thank <laughs> you. So, in our industrial software, we are industrial knowledge creation. We are industrial something web as well. We are no, do not much care about the company borders. Yeah, we are here. So many companies. So we are much easier. <laughs> to work together. <laughs> so this is the structure, how, how, we are, how we create things. So it keeps going on. So we specialize the long, long history. At least uh, several thousand years, at least for the industry of uh, more than 100 years, we keep specializing ourselves to, to improve productivity. But uh, we don't much need the productivity, so we can create a lot of things, same things. But we need the new things. So, I try. We try to improve quality by stopping too much specialization. So instead, <coughs> swarm together. So people are always mouse skills. There's no specialty by first. So people are get, always getting skill, skill, and also swarm of people works. 
group of people, or group is not a good idea, it's a team or a swarm, group of people who want to do something with various skills works very good. But since uh, we, we are a collection of other skilled, various skilled people, we got a lot, a lot, a lot of problems. We need a Kaizen mind. Make it easier and safer. So that's how the whole trend, how TPS, Lean, and Agile get in our way of working. So trend continues. We are expanding. We now have DevOps. We used to have a developers operators completely <coughs> different way. So we involve together, let's work together, strong, strong. Lean startup. It used to be you have a good, great, great business idea. You can get the money from investors. So, this startup is uh, trying to create the learning circus, but it, it has a different meaning. If you have an entrepreneur, show us you can work with engineer to create a meaning of viable product. Product that is the message. Work <coughs> together. That. Sorry. I tried to get a picture here, but uh, it's a uh, movie from Hanoi. You see the same <laughs> happens here. You are self-organizing. You don't need order. You don't need any traffic signal, but you can stay free, move along. So this is the last year's news, but uh, Twitter is improving efficiency by replacing robots with humans. So instead of specializing manufacturing line, they are creating all the cars in a single line, and then having people with multiple skills is much better, taking care of various cars. Okay. Sure. Swarming of various skilled people works. Yeah, that's why I like <coughs> conference like this. So something happens. So and also learning together is necessary. Like learning together it help. Not have to teach everything, but uh, we have to run. We have different skill. And then use tool, use machines. That is completely repeatable job. And then the trend continues of the current uh, skill-based separated organization will uh, continue to eliminate. So community will have more important job. So community has the power, community has the can control the trend. Like type of free user group <laughs> can can have a trend control. And the last thing is we don't know. So we used to have create the processes that uh, see for the uh, by skill separation, outsourcing, other thing, other uh, same thing. So by separating skill, we try to improve our effectiveness and efficiency, but it didn't work. But we need to seek collaboration way, not by separation by skills. And I. We really believe the conference like this is a perfect place to experiment. Thank you very much.